everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to the first video of 2023 i hope you all had a wonderful christmas and new year hopefully got to relax and enjoy some time with your loved ones in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the video that i uploaded almost a year ago to the day and um, that was my first video on this channel talking about my financial goals for 2022. Um, I pretty much hit a point where I was like enough is enough, um, I need to take control of my finances, there is so much that I want to do and so I decided to make a commitment to myself that for 12 months I was going to put a lot of effort into uh, certain financial goals and we're going to be taking a look at that video and seeing how many of those goals I actually managed to achieve. Before we get into that, I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed or watched any of my videos so thank you so much for helping me okay so back to the video i uploaded this a, uh, on january the 10th 2022 and my goal my financial goal for last year was to hopefully by the end of the year have created three different streams of income and so what i want for 2022 is to really get a handle on the bills that I'm paying and the amount of money that I'm paying out now, um, but also increasing my income. I want to, by the end of this year, have at least three forms of passive income. Like I said, I have KDP, which is my main form of income at the moment. Um, I am starting this YouTube channel, which I would really, really love to grow. In order to be able to monetize it, I need to get um, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours worth of watch time. And we are currently sitting at 11,000 subscribers as I film this, so that is insane. So that is the goal for the next 12 months. So if you are interested in this kind of thing, please consider hitting that subscribe button and sticking around. I also have a second YouTube channel which again I plan to monetize this year so hopefully that will be the three things. I'm also going to be looking into affiliate marketing and investments as well. Okay so my other YouTube channel that I started as a hobby years ago um, I didn't actually end up doing anything with that and I believe as of this morning we're at about 900 and something subscribers so it's really not a long way off of being monetized but I haven't uploaded content to it for a uh, a while actually so that ended up not being one of my streams of income but I did end up um, with the three in fact I ended up with more than three because I had KDP uh, which is Kindle Direct Publishing for those of you who don't know which is self-publishing online uh, this channel obviously got monetized and if you're interested in how much revenue this channel brings in I've made several videos um, showing you inside my YouTube studio so you can go and take a look at that if that's something that you are considering for yourself and you're wondering you know what kind of figures people can earn they also earn a small amount every month from uh, affiliate marketing I also took on a gig as a virtual assistant to a local business which actually was a lot of fun because sometimes when all of your work is home based and it's all quite solitary it's nice to interact with people so that's actually been um, quite a fun journey. Um, now I personally on this channel haven't done any uh, sponsorships as of yet. I've been offered a lot and if you are a creator yourself you probably get similar emails and honestly I've turned them all down because either they were a legitimate company but I didn't feel it was the right fit for my audience or they just sound scammy as shit I'm not gonna lie um, the thing is is when you talk about money and finances which obviously I talk about a lot of on this channel you do tend to attract you know people that are just out to get money so I haven't actually ventured into the sponsorship arena as of yet because I'm really just waiting for the right one to come along um, that is going to be a good fit. Now I have some 
pretty exciting goals um, moving forward for 2023. I am reaffirming that commitment to myself to uh, grow and expand and to really focus on finances. And I think, you know, with the current economic climate, that's more important than ever. So as soon as I have more final details on those, I will of course share those with you guys. I will film it all. I will bring you along for the ride. I think 2022 has been such a crazy year for most of us and I am honestly so grateful that I made that commitment to myself at the beginning of last year to really focus on my finances. Um, you know, stripped things back, was budgeting more. So even though 2022 was a pretty crappy year for everyone, um, financially speaking, I am so grateful for the progress that I have been able to make, even kind of battling against the, co the constant rising costs of everything. I'm trying to focus on the successes, um, there are still areas within my budgeting that I need to keep a, an eye on. Um, for me last year it was food, it's always food. <laughs> um, so that is really something that I need to, um, to watch out for. So I'm excited for 2023. I'm going to be making another video where we're going to set some new goals, some new financial goals. Um, what I'm going to do with this channel, what my other plans are. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, if you are on a, if you're on a similar journey yourself and this is the type of content that you are interested in, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button because that really helps uh, with the YouTube algorithm. Drop me a comment down below, let me know what your goals are, or the successes that you had in 2022 and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.